top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and this is the morning market preparation video for April 3rd 2019 so yesterday we had just kind of a, a sideways move really relaxed market didn't really go anywhere if we take a look at a 15 minute chart you can see yesterday um, we opened right in here and just went dead sideways not much happening in the market and um, unfortunately um, it left a lot of questions you know because we were still tucked up against this resistance here in the chart and um, as you can see this morning we're looking at some bullishness this morning uh, Dow futures are indicating up more than a hundred hundred and forty twenty excuse me up more than a hundred points at the open this morning looking for a gap up open as we look at this price resistance right here we're going to push up right next to that price resistance this morning here in the Dow and you can see that's a fairly significant level up in here that we have to watch for but um, right now we had um, we had a CNBC report last night that said that there was a potential US China deal on the way um, the article went on to say that there are still, you know, uh, big issues that need to um, be agreed on yet. But the market really grabbed a hold of that headline um, starting in Asia last night and really started to power higher. So Asian markets all bullish overnight. We have a little bit of a mix in uh, European markets with just... Um, uh, one index a little bit lower um, or basically flat but the US futures are all pointing to a, uh, a nice higher open and um, it it's just looking as if uh, nothing is going to stand in this markets away uh, to um, reach out for these um, high prints in the market so we're gonna get this gap up this morning we'll have to wait and see if the buyers will actually support that gap and what I mean by that is we don't want to end up getting caught in a pop and drop that pop and drop is when we gap up in the morning and no buyers come in to support it and from that morning print we start to sell so we'll have to watch for that but I think um, the market is so focused on trying to make um, new record highs um, I'm not sure we're going to see much of any selling um, into that report we'll have to or into that uh, uh, morning we'll have to watch and see let's take a look at um, the, the spy and if you take a look at the spy the spy is actually going to gap open above that resistance you can see this is a really important resistance level we're going to gap through that it looks like at the open today and that really opens the door for this opportunity for the market as long as we can hold up here you know um, one of the key things is once we gap above a level like that we have to make sure that we can hold that level as support so whoops we want to hold this level on that gap so we pop above prove that we can hold that level and then we have that opportunity to attack these highs up here all-time high prints so um, perhaps we're gonna see a new record in the market here um, in the not too distant future as long as those bulls continue to hold up and we continue to get these warm and fuzzy reports about um, US China trade deal so um, looking really good here this morning on this gap up once again remember don't chase into that gap wait and see if buyers are actually going to support that gap just in case that pop and drop pattern does occur here in the market let's take a look at the queues queues are looking at a huge gap up this morning looking for about 49 uh, 50 point gap up in the nasdaq and you can see um, popping up above this key level of resistance here in the chart so grab gapping above there so we have the spy in the queue uh, Q's um, popping above some key resistance levels and as long as we can hold that up here that looks really really good for the possible um, run to all-time highs here 
in the NASDAQ. So nice looking chart here and it's continued to stay very, very strong. Let's take a look at um, IWM. Now IWM, still a bit of a problem child. This morning it is gapping up. As you can see, gapping up this morning, but we still have all of these levels of resistance. This is uh, clearly a downtrend in play here. And um, even though that gap up looks like it's going to gap us open right up into here, we still have that resistance right there to worry about in the chart. So we'll have to wait and see on IWM. It's not playing nicely with others uh, or as nicely as the others are. We'll have to wait and see if that uh, becomes a drag or kind of like a boat anchor to the rest of the market or if the rest of the market will finally start to pull these small caps up. So with that, let's take a look at the VIX real quick. Now the VIX, I, I honestly... Uh, um, feel like there might be a little bit of complacency being built into the market here. And what I mean by complacency is we're just ignoring um, anything bearish, um, anything that could be a problem. The market is just flat ignoring that. And when that occurs, we become a little bit complacent in the market. The market wants to get that new market high. So we'll have to watch this closely, but I'm, I am a little bit worried that we're building in some complacency, but complacency can last a long time. You can see when that complacency breaks, we get these ugly moves um, in the market where we get that fear that pops in here but as long as we can continue to sink here and i expect um, we will see the vix drop a little bit more today uh, possibly testing this low right in here just because of the bullishness that we're seeing in the market no fear and right now we're not indicating any any, any fear here in the vix let's take a look at t2122 T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And we did uh, pop up here and that pulled back from this bearish reversal zone. Pulled back just a little bit yesterday. Now this gap up this morning, we have we do have room to the upside here. We can push all the way back up into here uh, pretty easily before we have to start worrying about a reversal. So we do have enough room to the upside for this gap up open. Let's see if we can push on through. Those levels up here, we do have to pay attention to though, for that possibility of um, just that overbought condition that comes into the market when we're up here and that possibility of that pullback. So watch that as we approach up here. And remember, we can stay up here for a while. Now I've never ever um, witnessed the time when we stayed up here like this in T2122. Um, you go back in time and you just don't see that in here. We pop up into this resistance area and we, um, we shortly turn around and go back down in a pullback, not necessarily a crash, just a pullback. Um, so whether we can do that again, if we can pull up here and just stay up here in this relentless pursuit for new market highs, I don't know. But let's watch this up here and just be a little bit cautious as we approach those upper limits. Um, be careful not to get over long in case that reversal does come into play. Let's take a look at the economic calendar this morning. That economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot to move us around. We do have the ADP number that comes out here early this morning, 8.15. Um, ADP has gotten so unreliable um, in its reporting. Um, it, it, it's become one of those that uh, the market largely um, ignores, but you never know. You never know. Um, it could start getting a little bit uh, closer to the actual number um, and start picking back up. Um, it's it's a meaning to the market. But right now, I wouldn't worry too much about that ADP number unless it's just really, really a surprise, a big surprise one direction or the other. Um, keep in mind that we have a Fed speaker here today at 8.30. We have PMI 
Service index, not expected to move the market. ISM, non-manufacturing report, can move the market, but um, unlikely to move it much at all. And then that EA petroleum status report, followed by another Fed speaker today. And you can see that EA petroleum status report does have the potential to move the market. If we get a surprise build in oil supplies, we could see that affect oil stocks and that makes it difficult for the market to continue to rally. Of course, if we get a surprise decline in surprise, uh, a surprise in decline in those supplies, we could certainly see um, that those oil prices continue to push higher um, as we move forward. So let's take a look here. Um, we do have oh, about 30 companies or so that are reporting earnings today. Nothing of major consequence as the earnings continue to roll in from the first quarter. We're just kind of dribbling along here, um, finishing up some of those uh, earnings. Before we, we begin um, um, next season's, um, earnings reports here in about two or three weeks. So um, <laughs> as they we can tr continue to dribble these reports in, just keep in mind we have uh, a big earnings season just about ready to kick off again um, in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a quick favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave uh, a comment. Make sure you click that bell icon as well so that you're notified when these videos come out. You know, guys, I really do do uh, the best job I can in trying to help everyone prepare for the day. The purpose of these videos is not to give you um, uh, buy sell decisions or try to predict the market. It's to, to help you prepare uh, for your day and help you uh, maybe um, ground your, or ground yourself a little bit on how to approach the market for the day. So think about those things. Remember, we always have support, resistance, and trend that we have to think about. And all of those things are affecting the market. And, um, if we can, um, if we can set aside our bias and just trade the chart ahead of us, we, we can do a better job. I believe preparation is far more important than luck um, in the market. So hopefully you find these videos helpful. And if you do, please uh, click that thumbs up and leave a comment. Also, please do me a favor, click that share button and you know share this video with anyone. It's free to everyone. Share it out there on your Facebook feeds, your Twitter, pages however you use social media thank you everyone who does that it, i appreciate it a ton so with that everyone let's take a look at a few charts that may be setting up now what i like to do is is provide a few charts but i want everyone to understand these are not recommendations for to buy or sell these are just simply charts that i am paying attention to and uh, watching for potential entries something that is on my watch list. If you guys remember, I mentioned Apple uh, the last couple of days. I've, I've mentioned Apple and Apple did get a move, um, nice move yesterday, moving on up. I would suspect a, a move up in here to, to test this resistance high in in the chart um, is certainly possible on apple after that it becomes a little bit more uh questionable don't be surprised to see this get a little consolidation right in here little resting period or pullback before it can pop on up but i'll tell you what if it can break through this level here there's some upside potential in Apple that everyone should be paying attention to. Really nice potential move. Uh, take a look at GoPro. GoPro, it has this ugly, ugly resistance uh, zone right in here that it has to deal with. But I think it's really interesting that GoPro has moved up this trend very nicely, consolidating beautifully and starting to get that bullish action in here that may pop it through. So you might want to take a look at GoPro. 
Go Pro and put it on your list if you're interested. I really like Warehouser here. Now, Warehouser um, is one of those stocks that um, typically doesn't move really, really fast, okay? But you can see we have this really nice rising pattern here, breaking through this price resistance and just a nice big bullish candle here and now this nice quiet little consolidation right here at price resistance so what i wait for you can see that my pink uh, line here is that alert i just wait for that um, stock to pop on through and if it pops up through there i may be a buyer here of warehouser watching this chart to move higher by the way this is one of my favorite patterns to trade it's called a rounded bottom breakout and notice i have that 50-day moving average already turned up that's one of my favorite patterns um, upside target on this um, would be somewhere around that 200 day maybe even a little bit higher so watch that warehouse are looking really good here and one to pay attention to kind of take a look at uh, 3m now 3m is one of those old boring stocks but doggone it's looking pretty darn positive here right now and you can see we broke this long downtrend here in 3m we've struggled and 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 wheezed and climbed and clawed our way back up here um, through these highs and you can see we have 3m popping out here now i wouldn't be all that surprised looking at some of the price resistance that we have in the chart to see this kind of slide sideways toward this trend before it goes but let's keep an eye on 3m 3m has that possibility if we take a look at 3m on a longer term chart this becomes a really pretty uh, chart and possibly even a nice position trade for those of you who might like one of those longer positions to pay attention to um, really nice potential chart so good charts uh, kind of showing up all over the place um, in the market uh, take a look at um, Oh, where's my chart? Take a look at a ACB. ACB is one of those cannabis stocks and you can see, I've, I've mentioned this one before. We made some really nice money on ACB right through here. You can see my alert on that chart um, in that move up. Now ACB has got this nice little pullback going on. Unfortunately, it broke down below this support. So my requirement here is we either need to make a nice tight consolidation over the trend and then pop out. I could buy that or I need to see this stock recover this support, hold it as support and um, then show me a buy and I would be interested in ACB. So one to keep an eye on there. Um, I've mentioned STARS, STZ, Constellation brand. And you can see STZ looking really, really good here, breaking above. This is another one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns. And we're getting this little resting pullback. If that can continue to consolidate or to pull back and rest and hold a higher low, I would be pretty interested in this and, and honestly that sets up that that potential trend if we can get that rest or pull back in here then that sets up that potential trend so take a look at STZ and one last chart MDLZ MDLZ uh, one of those defensives one of those defensive companies um, but this is a, a big deal here um, if you take a look at MDLZ we're looking at a multi-year breakout multi-year breakout here notice we broke out held it as support and continue on higher and now we have this really nice um, daily trend here where we've moved up and consolidated back over you can see moving up moving up consolidating over to this trend i'm watching this right in here to see if i can find that next buy into mdlz looking pretty good here so keep an eye on that chart this massive breakout those kind of things can oftentimes lead um, into really nice gains for a chart over a length of time so um, keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey have an awesome awesome day i wish you great profits and if uh if you feel uh, so inclined please share this video with any of your friends and family and make sure you click that thumbs up and um uh, leave a comment. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. I wish you all the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early on Thursday morning.